500 media heavy hitters. Maybe it would have been easier to pick uh, the ones who didn't make the list because that's a lot of hitters, man. So let's talk it, about it let's talk about the streamers and and the beneficiaries here. Disney is most interesting to me because they what they debuted about a year ago, a little more than 86 million, and this is a company that has seen really one of the hearts of its business destroyed this year, the parks and hotels, and yet the stock's up 20%. It just tells you what the market values, which is the future of Disney as they go all in on Disney+. Plus. I mean, it's remarkable how this service has kept the lights on at a time where every other piece of the Disney business is struggling, TV, films, theme parks. And I think what you're going to see is it's going to set up an interesting rivalry in the long term with Netflix. It was unthinkable in the long term that Disney would be able to match, say, the global subscriber footprint of Netflix. And now the unthinkable is actually realistic. Yeah. Netflix is still motoring along there. Uh, 60 percent subscriber growth. I'm sorry. A subscribers, 195 million. The stock is up 60 percent. This company does not ever cease to amaze me, its ability to grow. And the pandemic clearly has been a great stay-at-home play for them. It certainly has. I mean, what happened in the first half of the year, it, it drove an obscene uptick for Netflix. And they had a great year by any stretch of the imagination. I do think going into 2021, however, that's going to make for some tough compares. I mean, there's just no way you're going to see subscriber growth in 21 like they had in 20. But make no mistake, they're going to be a very tough competitor for a very long time. Let's look at Warner and HBO Max and AT&T there. That company saying they are going to release their, their movies next year to, to their streaming service on the same day they will release to theaters. This seems like good news for HBO Max, potentially, but very bad news for the theaters. Yeah, I, I, I cannot tell you the shockwaves that have been emanating from that announcement in Hollywood for weeks now. The exhibition business is going to be seriously destabilized because so many people are going to be fine watching this on HBO Max. Profit participants on Hollywood are also very angry about this. What are the money that they are going to have lost because this isn't coming out in theaters? However, I do think this arrangement will be very good for HBO Max. I think they're going to see a big subscriber boost in 2021. A lot of people are going to want to see big movies like Matrix 4, Dune, without ever leaving their house. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.